Hey guys, um, I'm back again today because I want to talk about um, block tubes. So I recorded the video at work, but again, my video quality was bad because I clearly had no signal. I might have had a bar, and I rewatched the video after I after I uploaded it. So I'm sorry about that. But go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel so you can follow up on my trying to conceive journey and. Um, basically learn my ways of doing the natural process with everything, with getting my body right, um, and I also talk about the block tubes and everything else like that. So, first things first, like I said, go ahead and subscribe. Um, so, my journey, block tubes, uh, Sarah Pet says, ye, me, kale, zai, zai, yan, zi, zai, yan. Kale, cinnamon, what else? Lemon, apple cider vinegar. Um, so many herbs, supplements, natural stuff that I'm trying to do. Um, just tell you a little bit of the side effects and how it worked with me. That's why I have my phone out. Um, so I had my HSG done on Friday. They want it done between like the cycle day 6 and 12 or 5 and 10. Something like that. So I had mine done on cycle day 8. And that was to see if my tubes were blocked or not. Or see if my tubes are blocked or not. So I had my procedure done. Um, next day is when I started my natural remedies. Because I did not want to start them before. Because well, it was not that I didn't want to start them before the procedure. But... My products didn't arrive till the night before, and you're supposed to. I want to start taking mine every morning, so I wasn't going to take it the night before the procedure, and they just had got there. And I wasn't going to take them the morning of the procedure. I didn't want my stomach filled up with something that I'm not familiar with in case I had, uh, in case my body didn't act right with it, and I got sick, and I didn't want to vomit on the table during my procedure. So. The next morning, cycle day 8, I had my HSG. Cycle day 9 is when I started the teas and herbs and dietary supplements. So, I started with the teas. I only did it once, but I did it in the morning. And I've been doing it in the morning ever since. I took the Chinese tea. It was Zai Zayan and Yi Mu Kale tea. So I did a scoop of each of those. I only used one cup of water and mixed literally everything in it. And then I also did apple cider vinegar. I did about a teaspoon of sugar. I meant not sugar. Ooh, not sugar. No sugar. <laughs> I did about a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I used the 12, 120 SPU of Um, So I used all of those. And with the serapeptase, I opened the capsule and pour it in with my tea because I can't swallow that big pill. So, you shouldn't do that. So, FYI, don't do that unless that's on you. But you're not supposed to because it messes with the absorption. But that's what I did. I mixed it in with the tea. And I've been taking that every morning. So, side effects that I found out. Let me go get them for you all. Oh, and honey. That's the other thing. I was also taking honey with the tea, putting the honey in the tea. So, with this, this is the Z Zai Zian Kale, um, Yi Mu, and Sarah Pete. One twenty. This is Doctor's best brand. Um, only one each morning. So, so far. Cycle day 8 is when I started taking them. That night, or either that day, after my first dose of everything, I don't know if the side effects are from what, which one, because I mixed so much stuff together. However, later that day, only on cycle day 9, mind you, I usually don't ovulate to about cycle day 19 because I have a longer period. Not 14 like most people. So on cycle day 9, I had a lot of cervical discharge um in my notes i recorded very very lots of wet it was wet 
kind of creamy and I remember telling my husband kind of like pasty and sticky almost with like an egg white cervical mucus so that's what was going on but it was like a lot um, like literally the same day I took it um, and then cycle day 10 which was the second day of taking it I recorded that I had some clearer looking cream clearer it was a creamish color but it was more clear and I also had it was more egg white cervical mucus like it was more stretchier than the first day um, so yeah I don't know what that has to do with it but that's a side effect I'm guessing or I feel like that's what's making it work because the serapeptase is basically something that's supposed to make you um, excrete all of mucus and secretions out of your body is supposed to clear. Serapeptase helps clear blocked tubes. Um, it also helps with inflammation, pain, mucus, cough, cold. It's a little bit of everything. Um, and the tea is just promotes blood flow to your organs, your reproductive organs, which is why I'm taking that. So maybe this is why I had so much um, flow going on downstairs, you know, because it was a lot to be early in my cycle. Um, also, with that being said, these this is a dietary supplement, and these are herbs. So block tubes. With my HSG, the same day of the procedure, the PA, physician assistant, told me at the end of my procedure that my tubes are clear. Now, I'm pretty sure that's what he said. I have not had my follow-up appointment yet with my doctor, so they can tell, tell me my results. But I'm pretty sure he said they were clear, which I praise God for. But I had already ordered these things, so I'm going to take them anyway just because I feel like it's going to help my body. Um, like I said, this month, this journey, this month, basically, I'm working on my body more so than trying to conceive. I want to focus on getting whatever pollution is in my body out. Um, I really still need to try to eat better because I haven't been doing that at all. Well, we eat, we eat pretty healthy, but I eat snacks. I'm a snacker, so. If you have blocked tubes, I believe this is the way to go. I've seen so many success stories on YouTube, and I researched it not just on YouTube. I've Googled it, and I've seen so many success stories with these, especially the serapeptase. So, I suggest this, um, and like I said, we're not, well, I'm not trying, trying right now, but if it happens, of course I would be happy because that's the whole reason I'm doing this. However, I'm trying not to focus on that because that just messes me up. That puts more stress on my body. So, if you have blocked tubes, please go for this, like a natural treatment instead of medicines or surgery, because they're going to tell you to have surgery, and then you're going to have to do IVF. But I hear that if you take this for a few months, some people got pregnant basically the same month they took it. Some people took three months, but that's this bottle was about fifteen dollars twenty. I don't remember. It was between between 10 and 20 for 90 capsules. Uh, that's a whole lot cheaper than paying 500 plus dollars for a procedure for surgery. So, I think this is the way to go. So, if you have blocked tubes, please try these teas, both of these teas and the serapeptase. Um, I also ordered some Dong Quay, but that hasn't came in the mail yet. I got the drops. So when I get that, I will be dropping that into the tea also. Um, so my mixture, the first time I took it, it was very nasty. So I believe that's why I felt like a little, I didn't feel nauseated in the sense that I wanted to vomit like right then, but I felt very funny. But you take it on an empty stomach, which is the other reason, but I think it's just that I'm not used to it. I don't drink tea at all. I don't swallow pills, even though I didn't swallow it, but... I just don't take tea. I'm a really picky eater, so the smell and the taste of all of that stuff was just something out of this world. But, if you have blocked tubes, I believe it's worth it. Like I said, clearly, whatever I did, it flushed me out because the same day I had so much discharge, like vaginal discharge. It was a good bit, so it, it's definitely helping me. 
and I just want to encourage you all to try the natural route do your research don't go by what other people say just do your research and just do what you think is best for you because only you know what's best for you and if you don't know you can try to figure it out because that's what I'm trying to do I don't know what's best for me but I'm trying to figure it out so um that's all I'm gonna do another video soon so make sure you go to my next video and I will tell you what it's about when you click on it. Don't forget to subscribe, okay, guys? Good luck and baby dust to you all. Bye.